this video is strictly gonna be over the math section of the ATIT's version 6. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Maisha Chantel. If this is your first time and you want to become a part of the family and the crew, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and turn on your post notifications. But if you're returning, I am truly grateful for you because you truly are a real one. You can't find too many people like this, like that. And I Greatly appreciate your support continuously. You just don't know how much it means to me. So, I'm dropping another video today. It's going to continue with the ATIT's version 6 test. This section, this video is strictly going to be over the math section of the ATIT's version 6. And before we get into the information, um... Y'all, just try to stay calm, try to stay grounded, try to stay level-headed with all this chaotic stuff that's going on in the world, okay? Y'all are here for my tips, tricks, and advice, whatever you want to call it that I'm giving y'all for these sections, okay? I think I made a... Yeah, I don't remember these numbers, but I took the T's... January 28th that's the day I took mine of 2020 and I want to say I made either 85 86 somewhere between that number 80 between 85 and 86 on the math section of the ATITs and I did score in the overall the advanced category so um, I honestly out of the two months that I probably was studying I studied probably about a week for this for the math section just because I wanted to put more focus on the other sections where I wasn't as confident as math because I knew the math was going to be very basic not trying to sound like arrogant or anything but I just knew it was going to be very very basic so stop tripping yourself out overthinking the math section is not that hard guys i literally studied for a week and made 85 86 on it just imagine if i would have put more time in the math i could have scored like 90 or 100 like the other people did but i didn't put as much time in the math because that's the subject that i didn't put the least in but i scored pretty decent in it <laughs> So, um, the study material, material that I used for the math section, because I haven't, I did take college algebra and stats, but I haven't took, taken those classes since 2014, 2015. So it's been literally five to six years since I took a math course in college. So it was like me learning all this stuff over. I didn't have a tutor. I didn't have anybody. I literally taught myself how to redo stuff. And the material that were used was I used the ATIT's pocket pocket prep, the full version. It was like twenty five dollars. I used the Mometrics um, ATIT um, Secrets Yellow Book. Got it from Barnes and Noble for like thirty something dollars. And I used Brandon Craft on YouTube. Those are the three sources that I use for the math section. I did read front to back on the math section of the Mometrics book like two or three times. So I literally read everything in that math section two to three times. And then I used the pocket prep just for practice and then I watched Brandon Craft because he was very, very informative. He did a lot of videos that went in depth um, about stuff that was on the tees. He literally does it just for the tees. So his videos are very, very helpful. The things that I saw on the tees that I think you guys definitely need to know is how to simplify fractions. Yes, how to simplify fractions, how to multiply, add, divide, subtract fractions, no common denominator, like how to 
know that basic stuff. Know how to find X. Um, I would say know how to convert to a percentage or convert to a decimal. So if they give you one third and they ask what is the decimal of one third, you know you just divide on one by three, which give you like thirty three point three 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 continuously and all that stuff. If they're asking you to find find the percentage of two thirds, like I said, divide two by three, it will give you a number and you multiply that by a hundred. That's that's what I mean by know like how to find percentages, decimals. Um, know how to do find area as area as well. Cause I don't know if they gave me a formula. I don't think they did. They asked me for the perimeter. One of my questions were perimeter and I had no clue because I didn't study that part. So nope, how to find the perimeter of a of everything, um, no conversion. Ounces, pounds, miles, meters, milliliters. No, no the placement of tens, hundreds, hundreds, one thousandths, all that stuff. No the placement of that. Do know um, how many how many feet are in a mile? That type of stuff. No, that's the, that type of information. Know how to simplify an expression. Yeah. Know how to set up a word problem. If there, if well, not set up a word problem, but know how to set up an equation when they give you words, like through a word problem. Basically, just look at Brandon Craft videos and and the stuff in the um, Yellow Mo Metrics book. And you'll be fine, I promise, you'll be fine. I also suggest buying um, practice tests A and B on the ATIT's website because it was very, 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 very helpful because I personally feel like the practice tests were harder than the actual test. The actual test math section was super easy. I don't know how to do not stress yourself about this section please do not stress about this section focus on the other sections and you like you'll do good on this section it's really basic math do a refresher do not spend a lot of time studying on the math math section unless you're just terrible at math but I don't think anyone is terrible at math because a lot of the questions they're gonna ask you, you can plug them into the calculator. Those are all the tips and tricks and advice that I have for you guys today about the um, math section of the ATIT's version six. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up, comment below, and tell me what else, what else you guys would like to hear. I will be doing a video on the English section, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. And y'all stay safe out here during this chaotic world with the coronavirus going on. Self-quarantine. If you need to, make sure you're taking your vitamins. Staying healthy. Practice good hygiene. Because we're trying to be future nurses here. And you got to be able to take, this, take the T's test, okay? <laughs> and not be sick thank you guys again for tuning into my video and i really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video and tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to follow me and subscribe to my channel see you guys next time